hi again in this video I'm doing a bit of uh, sentiment analysis on an, uh, a real data set on uh, IMDB uh, reviews and uh, we want to know whether the reviews are positive or negative and uh, this is uh, again the Kaggle data set and the file contains 50,000 records and two columns, review and sentiment. And the review column contains the text for the review and the sentiment col uh, column contains sentiment for the review, which could be either positive or negative. So basically we are doing binary classification here. And what I do first, I import the libraries that I need. And as you see, like these are basically the typical things I am uh, importing stop words uh, as you know from natural languages toolkit I am also uh, having some keras pre-processing and then sequential model because I'm using three different models here normal neural networks convolutional and recurrent neural network to see which one is doing better training uh, embedding, sorry, and then splitting the data set and tokenizing the text. So let's get the data set here and analyze it first. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, as I said, 50,000 uh, data input, uh, data, data points in my data set. And then uh, it looks something like this, the, fav the first five uh, rows of my data set. And now let's have a look at one of the reviews. So basically it's something like that. It reviews the film basically. And uh, now also let's have a look and see if it's a balanced data set or not. And you see, yes, it's half and half. So both positive and negative, which is quite a good uh, data set. And if you have a look here, again, we see that our data set contains punctuations and HTML tags. And what we are doing here is to do a bit of cleaning up. Remove all these things that we don't want. And then we see that review again. Now it looks much better. Uh, we also need uh, to convert our uh, labels, positive, negative, to digits. Uh, so positive will be one and negative will be zero. This is what I'm doing. And uh, the first one is I'm training only a simple neural network. So let's first uh, split the data, 80-20%. And uh, now I will do the script for embedded layer and embedding layer. And if you remember from the previous video, the embedding layer converts our textual data into numeric data. And it is used as the first layer of our model in the Keras. So what I'm going to do here is to use tokenizer class from uh, the Keras preprocessing text module to create a word to index dictionary that each word in the corpus is used as a key while a corresponding unit, unique index is used as the value for the key. So let's do this. Uh, and if you see, uh, we set the maximum size of each list 200. Uh, you can try different sizes. Uh, the list with size greater than 100 will be truncated to 100 here for the lists that have lengths less than 100. We will add uh, zero at the end so that it uh, gets to the maximum lengths. So this is what I'm doing here. Uh, now, if you uh, have a look at the train x train or test, you see that all the lists have the same legs of 100. Okay, uh, here we will use Glove embedding to create our feature matrix. So uh, I have downloaded and I will put the Glove 
or the link let's say how it goes in the uh, github folder so you can you can get it there uh, we will load the go word embeddings and then create a dictionary that it contains words as keys and their corresponding embedding list as values and finally we will create an embedding matrix where each row number will correspond to the index of the word in the corpus the matrix will have 100 columns where each column will contain the globe globe word embedding for the word i, I suggest you open this uh, globe word embedding and see what it is it gives it, you a better pr perspective so i am done with the uh, processing uh, what I'm going to do is that first I'm using text I'm doing text classification with a simple neural network so it is like we would be, do before a layer embedding layer what do we have it and then fat and dense model compile this is how our model architecture is and then I start fitting it will be quite fast here okay it is around 74 percent and i want to also uh test uh yeah the the accuracy of the test is 74 percent here i can also show you the loss uh function and the the loss basically well it is okay but it would be better so let's try the uh, text classification with a convolutional neural network so what I am doing here I am adding a, a convolutional layer and uh, then a max pooling layer then I'm going to do the same thing basically of course it's getting slower each time that the more is more complicated I would think I will pause here and when it's a stop, I will get back. Okay. And now it is done. Let's have a look at the accuracy. It is already better than the previous one. And the plot shows a better performance as well. I'm also going to give it a try with an RNN and I am adding LSTM layer. And I'm going to do this, fit the model, pause here, and get back when it is done. Okay, now I'm back and we're almost getting there. Okay, it's done. And let's try the test scoring the model as well. Okay, and this is even better than the previous one. And let's also predict something. This is our in, uh, instance uh, seven, uh, 57. Then we want to see whether it is uh, considered as a negative or positive. And uh, this is like that, and the positive output is one, and the negative one is zero. Uh, but uh, remember that the sigmoid function predicts a floating value between zero and one. And if the value is less than 0.5, it is negative. More than that, it is positive. And here, since it is pretty high, we consider this as a positive uh, sentiment.